Hey Summoners, how's it going? It's really great to see you guys again. My name is Nathan Ng and I'll be your host for this patch preview. In it, I'll give you the details in regards to what changes you can expect to see hit the live server soon on patch 12.14. We have another round of big balance changes coming up and you certainly don't want to miss them. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content like this and let's get started. To kick off this video, we'll talk about the systems. There's a lot coming up as world draws closer and closer. One large target of this patch is going to be the amount of healing and sustain. Again, Red is trying to make small adjustments as a follow-up to the durability update several patches ago. A bigger example of this is an upcoming nerf to potion healing. Health potions, refillable potions, and corrupting potions will heal for less, but this is to compensate for the fact that we have more resistances than before. Aside from consumables, bigger purchases are also up for some changes. Enchanter Mythic items, Sunfire Ages, and Kenpo Chainsword are all set to receive nerfs. Another set of change to look out for are nerfs into Summoner Exhaust and Challenging Smite. Initially, we anticipated a nerf for the base teleport spell that wouldn't apply to Unleash Teleport. However, that's been scrapped so top laners can breathe a big sigh of relief. In regards to Exhaust, the damage reduction will scale with level, taking away some of its strength early on into the game. Next, a large list of runes are also getting a change as well, including Biscuit Delivery, Bone Plating, Conditioning, Guardian, Scorch, Second Wind, Sudden Impact, Unflinching, and Time Warp Tonic. In regards to the defensive and healing runes, you're right to assume that they're all up for some nerfs. Whether it's the value of some bonus stats, reduced healing, or cooldowns, you can expect them to feel weaker next patch. Conversely, Scorch and Sudden Impact are up for some buffs, making aggressive play a better choice moving forward. Finally, we have some changes to epic monsters. First off, Elemental Drakes will have their buff bonuses adjusted. Bear the wordiness, but all five dragon buffs are getting buffed. In addition, Cloud Dragon Soul will have its bonus movement speed increased slightly. That being said, these adjustments come at a cost to players in both teams. In a way, they've gotten too easy to kill, and Riot's giving the Drakes their own durability buffs. Their base health and health scaling will go up, both before and after the Summoner Rift transforms. This should put the team that starts Dragon at a bigger disadvantage, and of course, give the contesting team a better chance at stopping them. With it having more health, it's also going to be a bigger commitment for any jungler who tries to start it, and even more so for those that try to solo it. Although the time you need to commit will be longer, all dragons will have their base damage decrease slightly. That being said, it seems like Riot isn't trying to make dragons harder to kill, but probably longer. Teams will need to allocate more resources to secure one, giving the enemy team more time to make their own play in reaction, for example, taking a turret or split pushing since the enemy team will be stuck finishing off the epic monster. Elder Dragon is up for some similar set of changes. It's having its AD reduced, but its health scaling will increase as well. There's also Rift Herald. It'll have its gold reward increase substantially. In addition, if you manage to kill a second Rift Herald, it will spawn with 75% more health when you summon it. That's it for the system, so let's talk about the upcoming champion changes next. Here's who to look out for if you're curious about the buffs next patch. Pantheon Jungle, Jarvan IV, Teemo, Alisar, LeBlanc, and Varus. These are some big jungle changes, and players are going to definitely need to watch out for some level 2 cheats. Maybe with enough Teemo buffs, we'll get to see them at Worlds, unfortunately. That being said, these buffs for him are coming when high elo win rates are quite low. LeBlanc, who has traditionally done well in high elo, is suffering and sits lower than a 47% win rate at the moment. Thank god, I hate this champion. But they're buffing her, so, you know, woohoo. Varus and Alistar are also up for some buffs, as they're underperforming a little bit in the bot lane. Next, let's talk about some upcoming nerfs. The following champions are getting nerfed next patch. Sivir, Yumi, Seraphine Bottom, Nar, Zeri, and Renata. For the most part, the bottom lane is set to get shaken up pretty heavily. Sivir is a change that I'm sure most of us knew was coming. Whether it was going to be a buff or a nerf, it was almost certain that she would receive an adjustment following her mid-scope update. In this case, she's been an absolute monster this patch and will have her strength toned down. Yumi and Renata are still performing exceptionally well even after a number of nerfs hit them this season. Seraphine Bottom and Zeri are also set to receive some nerfs, though in Zeri's case, I expect the balance team to soon calm down. Seraphine is currently at a 54% win rate in the bot lane, in case you're wondering why they're nerfing her. Finally, we have a few champion adjustments to take note of as well. For this final list of champions, we have Wukong, Aatrox, Rost, Janna, and Gangplank. Gangplank especially has been a hot topic. He's absolutely ridiculous in the right hands, especially in high elo where you can constantly find him one-shotting the enemy team. With these adjustments, I would expect that Riot wants to find a way to make him more of a consistent pick across all ranks, but also take away all that excessive strength that elite players abuse. In addition, it seems like these adjustments are aimed at champions who are typically harder to adjust. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can be first to know about the full list of changes as soon as possible. That being said, we've concluded our patch 12.14 preview. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.